Today is a very big day because we get to continue painting our house and we're painting everything, even the shipping containers. We'll explain more on why we're doing all that later, but I just can't wait to get started and start seeing this transformation because we've been wanting to do this now for such a long time. So as far as the painting goes, I'm gonna start just with each of the areas where we're going to have um, all the trellises located. The reason why is because we want to get those up there and get our plants in the ground before they die. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to start doing. looking extra cool <laughs> yes you are all right so while Ken's is painting our house for the second time what I'm going to be working on is uh, something that n has needed to be done for a while and I just I didn't know the right time to do it so before I tell you what that is I just got to explain part of building a house with no experience comes with the no experience I, I had an idea, I've read books, I've watched countless videos on various topics. So you make mistakes along the way. And one of those mistakes was with these windows. When I installed them, I didn't shim underneath the windows. So they literally sit on the window seal themselves. That's an issue with uh, not being able to air seal or insulate underneath them. That's one issue. And the other issue was with this trim. Not quite as big of an issue, but with the trim, I should have notched a little strip where it rests against the flange of the window because the window flange kicks the trim out just a little bit. So it kicks it out, makes it not look flush. It just, from the front view, it looks totally fine. You know, you don't realize it, but from the side view, when you're looking down the profile of the house, you can see some spots are worse than others. You can see how it, the trim just kind of kicks out. So it's always kind of drove me crazy. So I'm going to fix that also while I'm redoing these windows. So. tool has the most irritating sound. So I do need to finish painting the area behind where each trellis is going to be going so we can get those installed but in order to do that I have to get on the ladder 
which I can't really do right now. So I'm just gonna continue working on the lower part of this container. And I know they say not to do that, that you should paint from the top down, but it'll be okay. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> How rough do I look right now? It, it, it could be kind of trendy. <laughs> well, I'm painting, so I don't want to wear, you know, nice looking shirts. So I end up wearing Spencer's old car working shirts that he would wear whenever he would work on the car. Now it's pretty much a rag. It's been retired even from that job. Yeah, I don't even wear that shirt anymore. But it's still clean, okay? And I promise, I, I wear clean clothes. I just wanted to point that out. You make my shirt look nice. <laughs> and I got stains on it. I know, right? So as you guys can see, for the color of the containers, we've decided on a light gray. And for the center section in the addition, we've decided on white. And there's a few reasons why we decided on these colors. The main reason is just energy efficiency. So like the lighter colors obviously will reflect more light, meaning it's gonna put less strain on our uh, air, air conditioning. So that's one reason. Mm -hmm. And the other reason, it's just, we like the way this combination looks. I mean, not that we didn't like the blue and the grayish color that we had on the center, but it's just that each time we paint something, it's because we, I don't know how to say this. We're just trying to fix, uh, trying to go with an existing scenario. So yeah. like, we never initially designed each color to go with the entire scheme of the house. So that's what we're doing with this. It's like we're, we're 
now that we know you know that we have the addition and everything because for example when we chose the color for the original center section it was because we plan on keeping the containers the green and you know not fixing the rust and doing all of that so we chose that color because we thought it looked good with the green and then we're like okay now we need to fix the containers and we need to paint them so then we were having to choose a color that looked good with the color that we chose for the center section so it's just we're always making decisions like this based on previous ones and not because it's what we really want to do just we're trying to make it all look good as we go you know so now that we need to paint the addition we don't want to just paint it whatever color because we have painted you know the center section in the containers a color already if that makes sense and the whole house needs painted anyway because it just it's time it's getting a little dingy and dirty and it needs to be done anyway so well it, uh, yeah that but i think mostly because it needed a second coat i mean there wasn't it wasn't perfectly done the first time so yeah thanks a lot <laughs> i'm the one who did it <laughs> Sorry, we had to move because the sun came out and it was really hot over there. But, so that's why we've decided now on these colors, just because we think that it all goes well together with the addition now and we yeah, just think it looks good. Yeah, and we won't get that domino effect of every other color contrasting like each other. Really dark, really light. Really dark, really light. Yeah, this goes together better. Yeah. So yeah, that's why we've decided to do this. Plus we just like how it's more neutral and we think it'll go really nicely with you know whatever landscaping we end up doing just the colorful landscaping and also all of our pretty cedar the decks and everything i think it'll all look really good together So there's one thing that I want to point out that most of you probably noticed is this time around we're using zip tape for the window flashing. There's a few reasons to that. One is because it's just easier to get a hold of. I mean, we can buy it at our local big box store versus I have to order the liquid flashing over the internet. The other reason is because for just ease of install and ease of removal removing the zip tape yeah it's really sticky and it's it it takes a little bit of effort to peel back but it's not nearly as difficult to remove if i ever have to replace a window it's it's just going to be so much more easy and i can get the zip tape here locally so that's the method i'm going with this time around 
I guess you kind of live and you learn. I like a fortune cookie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How does it feel to finally have one of our plants in the ground? Good. A little check off our list. Right. We've been wanting to do this forever. Now if it could already mature and be a beanstalk. <laughs> one day, this will be how we get on the roof. <laughs> yeah, you might have to wear gloves. Here, no, here, let's try this real quick. Okay, okay, go. Weird, weird, weird. Don't hurt me, I'm so scared. <laughs> that was so uncomfortable. You're telling me. We haven't fixed all of the windows yet and we're still not quite done with painting, but our home is really starting to take shape. It's crazy seeing the first of our plants going into the ground after two and a half years of being out here. Coming out here, we had an overall vision for the build, but the plan all along was there is no plan. So seeing it all start to come together is the most rewarding feeling. We can't wait to see how it all turns out and to finally get to move into our home. <laughs> <laughs> 